Well, I think the, the most important thing is we need to have trust that the researcher uh, is going to be is both competent uh, in the field of study, that they have an understanding of, uh, of effective research methods and designs that can truly uh, tease out the, the information uh, and the data so that when we can look at it together and evaluate it and determine uh, where are areas for improvements, uh, what are some of the impacts, uh, negative as well as positive. The, the concept of are the researchers getting it, meaning are they really hooking up with the data and with the, the, uh, the agency and its practices and its procedures, its protocols, or is this just a scientific review? And, and really the desire for us and a practitioner is that we want, them, we want them to roll their sleeves up and be elbow deep in this where they are alongside our detectives as well as our managers as well as the ability to talk with senior management to understand the complexities of the field. And part of the way of us knowing that is by seeing some of the data that they, some of the way they start shaping their, their not just the data description but also the summaries as well as early drafts of, of a direction that they want to go. Because uh, it's not a negotiated issue but it's one of those ones that we can look at and say um, this is fair. We don't have an agenda going on. We don't have an advocacy of a predisposed destination that they want to be at. Uh, we need to look at this and while we can suspect where we might find ourselves a year or two years out, we have areas that we want to study because we want to see are there weaknesses in one particular area or one particular operation or another within the department. Uh, that first early, those early drafts give us um, a validation, if you will, that they're looking uh, independently but uh, objectively and fairly, uh, and there's not just one interpretation. And also there's opportunities for us to get early adopting. What are some things that we need to do right now? We don't need to wait until the study is done. We don't need to wait another six months or nine months to get this published. What can the agency start doing now? And in this study, uh, one of the areas was training. Well over half the people there indicated that they felt woefully uh, under-trained, un under-resourced in understanding the, com the complexities and having the proper tool set to, to really work on this, on, on, this, uh, on this field of sexual assaults. And that allowed us to, uh, to design uh, working with our training uh, folks. We have an entire, LAPD has an entire you know, training regimen as you would with any organization of some 13,000 people professionals that began saying, okay, what were some of these initial findings? Talk to us, describe what you're seeing, this being the researchers as well as our practitioners, and began addressing some of those shortcomings.